Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. This is the 16th part for Vue.js project and uh, in this video, we will learn how we can make a form for add new restaurant. In last video, we created a list on home page and in this video, whenever user will click on the add restaurant, then a form will be open here and on a button click, uh, user can add a new restaurant in our list. But keep in mind, in this video, we are not going to, going to integrate API for add restaurant. We will just make a form because if we are doing to make a form and then integrate the API, then it will take so much time. So better ways we can divide this uh, complete process in two videos. Great. So what we are going to do in this video, first of all, we will make a form and add inputs. After that, we have to add some style. We have to define properties for uh, restaurant name, uh, for address and uh, contact. After that, we will apply two way binding and at the last on a button click we will call a function and it will console all our form values so let's start with the first point and uh, let's just remove this one we just need a app dot view file right so let me make create a form here and we can close it like this after that we can simply define some input fields let's say type will be text and uh, name we can put let's say it will be restaurant name so just put here name only and because it will it this is predefined that we are just creating a add restaurant form that's why it will be a name of restaurant and then let's add a placeholder and just simply put simply put here enter name fine so and now let's close it so we need three input forms one for uh, name second one for address so let me change the placeholder value also and last one is contact and let's update a placeholder also with the enter contact and uh, now we need a button also so that we can just get the data on this button click Let me close this button and now let's add some text here like uh, add new restaurant. All right. So now let's check out the UI. This is not a nice UI. So what we can do here, we can add the classes that classes we already created for login and uh, uh, a registration form so where they are defined inside the app dot view so i can just simply add a class here like uh, to the form let's say like add restaurant or something so let me put here add only so it will be a small name and this is good to use the small names for classes and all and uh, so just just put here dot add class and apply the CSS on all inputs of inside button and now you will find that we got the nice buttons here nice uh, inputs here same way we can also add the style to the button dot add button and here you can see that we got a nice style here but whenever i'm just clicking on it now you can see that this basically refresh the page so how we can stop it the simple way is you can also use the uh, uh, prevent by default also but simple way is just type a define here which is button like this yeah now you will find that it's it's not reload so now let's uh, define the properties for name uh, restaurant and uh, name address and contact so how we can define simply add here data property and inside it let's return a restaurant and in this restaurant let's say we have a three values name and by default it will be blank again address Again, by default, it will be blank. And uh, at the last one is uh, <laughs> contact. And by default, it will be again blank. So now we have to attach these all fields with the our uh, these all properties with the fields. And we call it two-way binding. So just simply put here V model. And let's add here name. And it actually, it will be a uh, restaurant.name restaurant dot name and 
and uh, it should be small r not capital one right so with the same way we can also uh, apply the two-way binding on address as well as on contact and uh, all right so after that what we can do here let's simply add uh, methods so for that we need a method property to define here methods and i'm sure if you watched our uh, playlist with the vue.js 3 or vue.js then you surely know about this method inside this methods ma this methods property we can define our custom methods so let's say on a button click i want to call a method so for that what i need v on click i want to call add add restaurant function right so let's define this function here and let's make a console dot one or console dot log and print this dot restaurant so that we can check that everything is bind with the uh, fields or not okay so let me just uh, refresh it once yeah this is working fine so whenever i will just click on it clicking on it now you can see that name restaurant and contact all are blank so now i am adding some data let's say kfc resto or address is let's say mg road or uh, some contact number now i'm clicking on it and now you can see that we got the form data inside our properties so that's all for this video in next video we will submit this data to our uh, api and after that user will be automatically redacted to the home page so thank you so much for this video and after that only four or five videos are just remaining for this complete project so thank you so much for your support and please don't forget to subscribe my channel